In this video, I will show you how to deploy your ENH500 kit. This kit is intended for plug and play and there is no configuration needed out of the box. Let's begin. Open the seal of the box. When you open the box, you will see that there are two ENH500 devices. Two power cords for the power over Ethernet injectors. Two power over Ethernet injectors. Two pole clamps. And all the necessary lugs and bolts for mounting your devices. You even get a whole template to make your installation easy. Lastly, your quick installation guide. Okay, before we begin, I would like to talk about this kit. This kit is focused for a deployment where you want to share your internet service to a remote location. This illustration shows the example of this scenario. On the main location, you have your modem and your router. Here is where you're going to install your primary ENH500 that is set to access point mode. You will have to connect this device to your router. On the remote location, in this case a small guest house, you will install your remote ENH500 that is set to client bridge mode. This remote device can be connected to a client that has an Ethernet port. On the back of each device, there is a label where all the information of that device is displayed. On the bottom section, you can find the default IP address. The primary ENH has a default IP address of 192.168.1.1, meaning that the default wireless mode for this device is set to access point. The secondary ENH500 has a default IP address of 192.168.1.2, meaning that the default wireless mode for this device is set to client bridge. Once deploy your ENH500 kit, you can access each device to check your settings. Please note that these devices are connected to your network's DHCP. Your device cannot be accessed by their default IP addresses. You will need to scan your network's IP address table to find the assigned IP address. You can use a free utility like Advanced IP Scanner shown in this example. Once your utility finishes scanning, you can see you can find your devices on the IP address table. Simply copy the IP address or type it in on your browser. And as you can see, you can now log in to your ENH500. Once you have successfully logged in, go to Wireless. And we can verify that the default operation mode is in access point. Also, NJET is enabled. We're going to now log in to the second device. We go to wireless and we can verify that the default operation mode is in client bridge. We are now going to check the connection between the two ENH500s. As you can see in this example, we have a great quality link between both devices. 